All right, let's talk Debo Samuel and the 49ers from another really iconic San Francisco spot, the Tea Room at the Palace Hotel. At the end of this clip, I'll show you a cool movie scene that happened here, A-list movie, right at this ceiling. But first, we're going to talk about Debo and the 49ers because the 49ers need to get a little bit more bang for their buck from their star receiver. His receiving production was down. His rushing production was down. I will say, though, that it's really key to note that his efficiency wasn't really down this past season, especially when it came to Debo Samuel's strong suit, which was yards after contact. He was still that bull in a china shop this past season, but the, the volume was down. And, you know, some of that was because of the injury that he suffered against Tampa Bay, missed some time after that. And I think a lot of it was because of the Christian McCaffrey acquisition. Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel in many ways are interchangeable pieces. It means that they both can catch the ball, move out of the backfield, and both can run the ball from a receiver-like position, right? You could line them up anywhere and they're perfect for Kyle Shanahan's offense. That leads us to the question, are Debo Samuel and Christian McCaffrey redundant? The answer is absolutely not. I think that's a very surface level view that is assuming that injuries are turned off. And this is not like Madden. This is not a video game where you turn off injuries and you need only one of the two. You have to layer talent yeah. because the 49ers probably know better than anybody that guys can get hurt. And if guys get hurt and the season's a marathon, you need multiple positionless skill position players to be able to keep the line moving. So I think that naturally Debo Samuel is going to get more opportunities next year. I think this year the 49ers, when it was an exceptional set of circumstances, picking Christian McCaffrey up midstream, right? And then that injury did happen to Debo against Tampa Bay. But if you want to be a true Super Bowl contender to keep things firing at the way that the 49ers have been firing when healthy offensively, you need as much positionless skill, position talent as possible. And Debo Samuel is very much a part of that mix. That's why a lot of these trade rumors are, are ridiculous on top of the fact that 49ers aren't really ready to take a $28 million dead money hit. Larger scale view of the tea room at the Palace Hotel in San Francisco. And I promised the movie scene, here you go. An iconic spot indeed, Michael Douglas fell through that glass ceiling. The 1997 thriller, The Game, directed by David Fincher. Also known for Fight Club and a lot of other really good movies.